Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't know what to say now. <laughs> Let's just start with the basics. So as you can see from the title, this is going to be a picture of a cute little bunny girl. And actually I do know what I say because I didn't film um, me drawing this. Um, simply because I thought it was filming and then I went to check and it wasn't. Yay! Not yay, it's actually my worst nightmare and it happens. I was like, no! When it happened, I was super annoyed. But I'm sorry because there was really not much I could do about it. So it kind of started off um, with me inking this. As you can see, it was a pretty short little clip that I used there of me inking because I didn't want it to go on and on with me inking. Um, and then... The next sort of step naturally is to you know start coloring after inking but I think for me and this actual piece to actually start it off with inking first I quite like it because it cuts down a lot of the video and I know that a lot of viewers like to see the outcome and generally skip all most of the process of <laughs> how it's being done um, but I would advise um, kind of not to do that simply because if you want to know how I'm doing certain things, then you're going to want to see the full thing. But anyway, I mean, if it's for you and you prefer to skip it and go to the end and see what pretty colours there are and all that, then do you. Do what you prefer. And actually, even I can say that I am sometimes also guilty of skipping. I know it's very, very bad of me, but um, yeah, I've kind of learned not to do that now. Um... Generally, when I see like a Facebook post of a really pretty picture and I'm just like, wow, how did that artist get that effect or what did they do for that? It just, it makes me curious and then I go and, you know, I spend time on it really. Okay, just to let you know, I also incorporated some of the Derwent pencils. Um, art, artist pencil crowns is what they're called. Let me just quickly check. I have them here. Oh my God. Um, they're the Derwent Artists 12 is what they're called, blendable colour pencils and I've got to say I'm pretty impressed with them, I have had Derwent pencils before um, and I quite like them, um, so yeah I kind of incorporated them because I felt like to really for the tech, for an almost more sort of texturised feel on her skin, I mean as you can kind of tell, she's a bit of a bunny, so she's going to be quite fluffy and, you know, her skin's going to be more furry and it kind of needs to look furry. So, um, yeah, that's why I decided to incorporate a few pencil crayons in there, as well as the Culpix. So I did, and I'm pretty glad that I did because um, it kind of gave her a bit more of a furry type of feel to her skin. I felt like the little lines on the pencil re really added to that effect and then I kind of layered it with the Copix to make it um, stand out a bit more um, but also feel like it's part of the same picture if you know what I mean like if you do I think sometimes if, if certain types of media that you're using aren't blended as well or you know kind of tied in together as well sometimes it can look a little bit odd and just look like this huge mishmash which isn't always a bad thing um, so for the background they went for completely something different um, and just wanted to go for a sort of mixed up hazy um, water paint look but I wanted it to kind of have quite a dreamy effect so I went for sort of really pale sort of almost pastel colours and then, um, nice little tip guys, I did manage to cover my yellow little mistake that I made with my Copic marker and that's how I did it. Simply by adding more to it to go in with the theme of the picture overall. Um, and yeah, so finished off those little bits at the end in terms of highlighting. And that completes the whole look. Don't forget to subscribe guys if you like my art. And also don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it. Peace. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.